Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are going to model a kitchen tap in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference. Let's go into rendering, view image file, go on to the desktop. Let's take a tap folder and let's open this reference. How we are going to model this tap is like Let's go into this front view over here. Let's go into the shapes. Let's take a line over here. Let's take a line till here. End the line. After you have done with this line, just select this both vertices and let's go into the fillet and let's just give a fillet over here. So once you have assigned a fillet option over here, now you can select this vertices. You can push it more down if you require it. Let's go into this rendering enable in viewport. So once you activate this enable in viewport, let's activate this thickness this till this much only. That's it. Now what I'm going to do over here is like into the vertices, I'll just push this a bit down and right click. You can still just increase it. That's it. Convert to editable poly. So once you converted to editable poly over here, now what I'll be doing is like, I'll be just pushing it more down and I'll add one swift loop over here. Again, I will add one more swift loop over here. So just push this down. Push this down. So select this polygons. And let's give extrude over here by local normal and reduce its size. So select this again, extrude it by local normal and reduce its size. That's it. So as you can see over here, we have just generated this stuff till here. Now again, I will go into this and again, I will take one more swift loop over here and I will take one more swift loop over here. So if you look at it properly, we'll be just scaling it and making it more straight. Now select this polygons over here and just click on extrude a bit, not much, a bit and click OK. Again select this vertices, push this down. Again, take one more swift loop over here. Again, go into the <coughs> polygons and extrude it and reduce its size. Again, select this and extrude it to the max over here. That's it. So select this, just push this down. Again, put one more swift loop over here. So let's go into the polygons. You look at it. If you go into this polygons and just click on extrude and just scale this stuff and click OK. So let's save your file over here. So definitely I'm coming up with uh, interior tutorial very soon. So I'll just save it. Now I'll again go up over here. I'll come out of this editable poly stuff. I 
I'll take a line over here. I'll just add one line over here. And I'll reduce its thickness. All right. So once you're done over here, now select this over here. Let's go into its polygons and we can just insert it and you can just extrude a bit inside and click delete that's it so now what I'll be doing is we'll be just selecting this and let's give a bit of chamfer to it and click OK Again, go into this, take again a cylinder over here. So we can just push this cylinder over here. And increase its height. So let's increase its height in the positive axis. Just push till here and reduce its height segments to convert to editable poly. So let's use two swift loops over here. So select this, scale it. So just select this edges now over here and let's use a chamfer option and click OK. That's it. So let's go onto this view and again let's go into it and just take a line tool over here <coughs> so reduce its thickness so you can just push it down select this and this just give a basic color to it and let's go into it and just mirror it copy it in y axis and just duplicate it now again go into this set this angle to 90 degree rotate it oops shift and drag make a copy of it scale it so let's go on to this view over here and just drag this out <coughs> So you can just select this and you can just push it inside. So select this again and make one more copy of it. So save your file. So let, let's just push this above the grid over here. So now I want to create this spring. It's very easy over here. So for creation of this spring, 
will be utilizing a helix over here so let's take a helix over here so go into this height and turns so increase its height again and increase its turns and reduce its thickness if it is required so just push this over here and what I can do over here is like let's give a bend modifier so you can just bend this so before we bend it let's go into this helix increase its height and increase its turns and just give a bend oops so reduce its height and reduce its turns So two things you can do over here is like I can just push this over here and I'll take one more line over here so select this uh, let's give a fillet on it select this and use a fillet over here so right click refine it so we don't need this so we'll be going into this edges and we can just delete this stuff so just select this over here let's try it so let's convert to editable poly so remove this convert to editable poly over here and let's go into that that is path deform pick path oops we took a patch over here we need a path deform okay pick path so move to path that's it so that would be much better if you are using this uh, particular option over here so what I'll be doing now is like I'll be just selecting this so I can just push it up and reduce its stretchness 
all right and percentage i can just push it in this way that's it so definitely when you are going with that make sure you are you are working with the proper radius over there then only it's going to move properly so select this path and this and just push it properly inside over here so you don't need this you can just select this you can select this and this and just reduce it down push it down that's it that's it you can go with that or you can give a more uh, proper helix stuff so percentage you can activate this percentage your stretching and all this stuff can be maintained from here so just select this all full stuff and just give a color to it so that's it so we are done with it so now uh, just assign a basic texture over here we can just assign a basic texture over here how you can define so just scale this So just select this stuff. Let's go into rendering, render setup, and let's set to V-Ray. Let's go into material, and let's take a V-Ray material. into that let's give a reflection so just give a color to the reflection go into this fresnel reflections so the edge glossiness and the r glossiness let's see how it looks like ah, looks good so we'll go into this uh, rendering render setup let's go into v-ray and we'll just give a gi environment and definitely if you assign some kind of a map into this environment stuff it's going to reflect definitely and let's just render and see how it looks like yeah looks much better so you can zoom and see over here okay so control a convert to editable poly and let's render it again much better that's it so Save your file. So thanks for watching this tutorial.